Hi friends, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. And of course, for today's video, we are doing another one of our Germany fanfiction recommendation. If you haven't guessed by now, with the title of my video and the outfit that I got offered today, we are talking Quidditch. Apart from reading fanfiction, the other thing that I spent an excessive amount of time doing is watching the NBA, especially the Warriors. And so that kind of explains um, the outfit of the day. But in January, I got the opportunity to see one of their game in person, and that kind of pushed the production of this video a little bit further along. And so we are here for today talking about Quidditch in Germanic fanfiction. Let's talk about Draco first. To me, Quidditch Draco has always been his little sanctuary. It's like his outlet and something that's close to his heart. And so I always appreciate Draco being able to play Quidditch in Germany's story. And I have always secretly root for him to become a Quidditch player just because of how it all seemed very natural for Draco. Just like how he knows how to pick frame or how he knows to play the piano, he also knows how to play Quidditch as well. And he's probably good at it, period. And for Hermione, we all know that she doesn't really like the idea of Quidditch just because how she uh, always associate the game with danger with being Harry's best friend and all of that um, so I'm always super intrigued to see how Draco influenced Hermione in that aspect of her life and how her behavior towards Quidditch changed now that she's in love with someone who is in love with Quidditch so much and that for all of those reasons above you cannot really blame me for seeking out that Quidditch detail in Hermione's story and that's what we're talking about for today so let's get the video started so let's start our video for today with two stories where Draco is a Quidditch player. The first being season pass to this ass by Maybe Writing. This story is one of my recent reads and I had an amazing time reading this story and just by that title alone, you probably have a good time as well. I am absolutely in love with the synopsis of this story so I'm gonna read it off to you guys and use it as a summary and it reads in which Hermione dumps a Quidditch fan and dates a Quidditch player instead, Spy is a beautiful motivator. And that's all you need to know about this story before you start. This story is quite short. I think it's only a little bit more than 16,000 words long. And usually I would say that you can finish this story in one go. But for this one, you may have to take a break in between just because of how spicy and how hot this story gets. I love this story for so many reasons. The first being that this is one of the few stories where I get to read that the author did a really fine job at portraying Draco being a Quidditch player. Like we get to see his job and we get to see him playing Quidditch and being a Quidditch player. And usually it's really rare for me in Germanic fanfiction and so I appreciate all of that. The second and the most important reason is I love how my B Reading did a fabulous job giving both Draco and Hermione a very refreshing characterization and portrait in this story. So let's talk about the characterization first. We have a very lax Draco in this story. Usually he's always more on that reserved side. He's more complicated and more deep in his feelings and his emotion. And so he always seems to hate himself a little bit too much in Germany's story. Um, but in this story, we have a little bit more aloof Draco who is very sure of himself, very sure of what he wants and what he has. And so we don't get to go down that self love uh, route that we always see with Draco. On the other hand, we have a very petty Hermione and usually in Germany's story you will see that Hermione will be the more forgiving person in their relationship and any other relationship in Hermione's life uh, but in this story she is super petty and I just love to read that characterization of Hermione in this story. Secondly, let's talk about the portrait. Usually you will see that Draco is being a seeker in a Quidditch team in all of Germany's story but in this story might be reading allow him to be a bitter and for that reason he has a different type of physique in this story instead of being we have a more puff Draco in this story and because all I read is Germani story, right? It's always super fun to read something that's more refreshing and more unique. The most important is that we have a Hermione who has a little bit more weight to her. She's more on the chubbier side and representation matter is all that I got to say. You guys already know what I mean. So what I'm trying to say is that you guys will have an awesome time, a fabulous time reading this story. So if you want something hot and something fun to read, something short that just satisfies you instantly, this story is perfect for you. The next story in this category we have One Two by Nifazol and unfortunately I think that this story is less about Draco being a Quidditch player and more on how Draco and Hermione develop their relationship which I personally do not mind but I just want to let you know that apart from the mention that Draco is a Quidditch player we don't really get to see how he plays or how he is a Quidditch player in this story so if that's what you want to look for then probably skip over this story but 
in this story we have Ginny and Hermione taking a bet against each other and Ginny made Hermione take a binding vow to go out with the next wizard who asked her out for two dates. So this story also have a very interesting take on the characterization of Draco and Hermione as well because usually you will see that in Germanic fanfiction Hermione is usually the first to forgive Draco in their friend group but we have the opposite in this story. Every single person in their friend group has already forgiven and accept Draco into their circle except Hermione. So to me, it's very refreshing to see how Hermione opens up to Draco and how her thoughts about him change now that she gets to know him, really getting to know him. So if you are looking for that type of relationship development between Draco and Hermione, I think that this story will be perfect for you. Next category, we are going to do Draco playing Quidditch just uh, recreationally. He is not a player, but he played Quidditch regardless. And the first being More Than One Way to Win by Scarlett Murphy. And I have to let you know that this is the story that started it all. This is a story where it gave me the idea to make a video on the Quidditch detail in Germani story. So you have to read this story is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so in this story, we have Theo daring Draco to take Hermione to the bar. And on the other hand, we have Hermione needing someone to go to the ball with to make Ron jealous. And so Draco and Hermione kind of work together in this video for their own personal gain. But we already know what's going to happen down the road and we get to see how their friendship blossomed into something more in this story. So despite all that personal motives that they have, they are actually very mature and contained and understanding in this story. So their love is very tender and they are just cutie pies in this story. So if that's what you're looking for right now, I think you should just give this a go. Quidditch isn't like a greatest highlight of the plotline of this story, but this story has a detail that will win my heart over and over and over again. And that is Hermione showing up to a Hogwarts Quidditch game with Draco's jersey. If you haven't guessed by now, I really do have a thing for Jersey and so if a Jersey pops up in Germany story in any way, type or form, I am swoon, I am done with. And so that little detail with Hermione wearing Draco's Jersey to a game is among the Germany details that I will never forget. And if that's what you are looking for, if that fits your bill, please go ahead and give this a go. You will not have a bad time with this story at all. And the next story we have in this category also make my heart sing and that is Forgot to Mention by Wet Spretzel. This story it is a 7 years at Hogwarts based on the tag by the author but it seems to have no war so you don't have to worry about that if that's what you're trying to avoid. We have a head boy, head girl, secret relationship trope in this story with Draco of course playing Quidditch. Draco is ultra protective in this Story and more importantly, he also has a smart mouth. The details that you will find in this story is just a galore for someone like me who live for the moment the twin Draco and Hermione because their love is so tenderized in this story. The finger tracing, the knuckles on the cheekbones, everything just make my heart melt into a puddle. And if that's what you're looking for as well, if you want to look for the details of their love, you know how they just speak for their love with the actions, with the touches and all that kind of good stuff, please go ahead and give this a go because you will not regret it. Promise. <laughs> Next, we have a very, very, very hilarious story and that is An Aberration Condition by Chaos and Crumpet. In this story, Draco and Hermione has both graduated from Hogwarts and went on to work at the Ministry of Magic and of course they have a leak for Quidditch there. For some reason, Harry thinks that having Hermione at his game brings him luck. Draco is about to prove him wrong. <laughs> this story portrays a Hermione who has the urge to just flee Draco by aberration every time that she is close to him. So our Draco has to run some diagnosis and of course give her the ultimate treatment of her life. <laughs> Every single character in this story is just crack ass and I just love it. You will have a good time with this story. This story is for when you have the bluest day in your life. If it's winter out there and it's snowy and you don't want to do anything else, read this story because it will light up your day. It will just brighten your mood like a sunshine. I am doing a really bad job at describing story today but I think that's all you need to know before you read The Aberration Condition by Chaos and Crumpet. <laughs> Next, we have a story that's on the angsier side. So if sappy love isn't your thing right now, let's read Better Late Than Never by Nicozo. We have a post-war 8 year Hogwarts story where Draco and Hermione share a little bit of a history between them. But now, twist and turn, a war later, um, those two get to see each other in a little bit of a different light. They get to discover the other person from angles that they have not considered before. So we get to see their 
um, enemy turn into a friendship, turn into something more. And this story is just a perfect balance between angst and hope. And so even though it doesn't light up your day like a ball of sunshine, it still warm you in a very particular way that I can only find in Germany fanfiction. And if you are also looking for that story where you know they light up your heart in the softest way possible, then I think this story is going to be perfect for you. And lastly, in this video, we have two stories by our god, and that is Standing You. We have Sick of It and we have Self Preservation. These stories are two very short stories where Draco and Hermione are both at Hogwarts and um, they share a little bit of something between them. And it's different in each of the story, but I think that you just have to go out there and experience them for yourself because they are very short, and I just don't want to give away the whole story by summarizing it for you guys. So these are all that I have for today's video. Uh, I know that there are more. More famous story out there, more recommended story out there where it highlights Draco being a Quidditch player. But these stories that I recommend to you guys today are the ones that I fell really hard in love with and so I hope that you have a good time with them. And all of these stories that I recommend today are very short and they are intense and make you feel so good. So save this story for when you feel a little bit down mood and when it's cold outside and you need something to wrap you up like a blanket. These stories are going to do that job for you. And I hope that you have a good time reading them. Hope you have a good time hanging out with me as well. And I will see you guys in the next video.